So gravitational potential energy really depends on three factors. The first one is how heavy the object is. If you have something which is more massive, it can store a greater amount of gravitational potential energy. The second thing we can look at is if we want to look at the change in gravitational potential energy, we can then look at the change in height that an object goes through. And effectively, the higher it is, the more energy is stored gravitationally, because what we're having to do is we're having to do more work to get it to that height. And the third thing it really depends on is the strength of gravity. Now, most of the time on Earth, that's going to be 9.8 or 10 newtons per kilogram. And it's worth checking what the question says about which number you actually use for your calculations. But if you wanted to change that, the only way we could do that is maybe go to somewhere else. For example, the Moon has a much smaller mass than the Earth, and therefore the gravitational field strength is going to be a lot smaller. It's about 1.6 newtons per kilogram on the Moon. So it's these three factors, the mass, the gravitational field strength and the height, which really determine the gravitational potential energy stored in an object. So to work out the change in gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times the gravitational field strength times the height. Obviously it's quite long to write it all out like this every time, uh, so what we can shorten it to is EP, and this is energy in the gravitational potential store, is equal to the mass times the gravitational field strength times height. Okay, so EP equals MGH, a little bit shorter than this. Again, we always measure our energy in joules. We always need to make sure that we're using our mass in kilograms. And because this is a gravitational field strength, uh, this is expressed in newtons per kilogram. And then finally, the height uh, is given in meters. Now, when it comes to doing questions, you'll often be given the value of G in your question. Often it's sort of uh, maybe sometimes rounded up to about 10. Um, sometimes it's also given as 9.8 newtons per kilogram, provided we're doing questions on the Earth.